So I'm going to share with you something, and I don't want you to get mad at me. I'm going to put pressure on you. I memorized scripture. So I started this many years ago, and it's Joshua 1.8. If you meditate on the word day and night, if you speak the word day and night, if you do the word day and night, you will live in the miraculous. It's a big deal. So did it work? Did it work for Joshua? So if you go through the book of Joshua, it's full of miracles. So undoubtedly, he meditated. So what did he meditate on? Oh, my goodness. All he had was a Pentateuch. How would you like to meditate on Leviticus? Oh. I read through it twice a year, but I'm always glad. I'm through Leviticus. Whoopee! <laughs> That's what he had to meditate on. So I felt like God wanted me to get very serious about this. I did this a long time ago. I memorized the book of Proverbs. It took me nine months. I got so excited, I did it again for another nine months. And then I began memorizing books of the Bible. Now, the epistles are easy because they're short. And some way, they're wonderful. Ephesians, oh, Colossians, oh. And it's like when you are meditating and on speaking it, it's reading you. And so this is what I'm going to suggest to you, and I want to pray with you for this. I'm going to suggest that you memorize Psalm 139. So put your hand on your heart. Say, this would be good for me to memorize Psalm 139. Now, why is this so good? Because it's so intimate. When, when you're being made, he's keeping track of it. You know, I, I, didn't, I wanted to have big, thick hair. I have fine hair. So he said, put down fine hair. You know, so everything on you, he keeps a book on you. Can you imagine how intimate that is? And then he says, he knows when I get up and when I sit down. Well, who cares? <laughs> he cares. He knows my thoughts before I think them. I mean, his intimacy with you is so wonderful. And so when you meditate on these things and say these things, it's awesome. So see, I'm not asking you to memorize one of the epistles. So look at someone and say, isn't she kind? <laughs> I'm just asking you to do Psalm 139. And then I believe you'll get hooked on the book. And you'll say, well, maybe I should memorize Psalm 23. It's short. And maybe I should memorize how I have authority. He's given me authority. He didn't just give a few people. He's given believers authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means harm them. We don't whine. We speak authority. And we know that it works. So many times, you know, I've been told, you can't do this. You can't go there. No, that won't work. I don't pay any attention. I have authority. And I take that authority of the Word. But you're not going to know your authority if you're not in the Word. You say, now it's, you're getting mean. You're right. So stand up again. Put your hand on your heart. Say, I am hungry for the Word of God. I love the Word. The Word transforms me. I thank you, Jesus, that the Word is what I think of in the morning. When I get up, I get the Bible. I meditate on the Word. At noon, the word goes well with my coffee and hamburgers. And the last thing, before I go to sleep, I meditate on the word. Amen. You can be seated.
Now, here's what I have found. When you start to memorize scripture, in the morning, my mind is best then, is fresh. But if I just review the scripture at lunchtime, that's good. But the last thing you see before you go to sleep goes through your mind seven times. So I take a scripture and I meditate on it and I say it out loud before I go to sleep. So it's cooking all night. It's cooking, 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 cooking. And why am I so committed to the word? Because God called me to cover the earth with the word. Because I need to go to nations. Because I'm 88 and I'm not going to stop. I'm going to go for the nations. And I believe we're going to come into a big, big, big revival, especially in Muslim nations. It's already started. So stand up. Say, it's a good thing I came this morning. Because meditating is key for me. Meditating will make me successful in everything I do. In Jesus' name, amen.